But Donald Trump has changed all that. Palestinians are angry that he scrapped a decades-old policy by recognizing Jerusalem as the Israeli capital. For many years, we failed to acknowledge the obvious, the plain reality that Israel's capital is Jerusalem. The two sides live close to each other, but their views couldn't be further apart. Israel is a Jewish state, and Hamas, which rules the Palestinian territory of Gaza, long called for the destruction of Israel. You might have heard of the Gaza Strip, but what's it like? Hi, I'm Sebastian Usher. I work for the BBC uh, as a Middle East editor. Gaza is a tiny strip of land. Squeezed into it live around two million people. For more than 10 years, all the sorts of basic goods that people need don't come in. It's been called the biggest open prison in the world. In charge of it now is one Palestinian group called Hamas. It took it by violence uh, more than 10 years ago. In contrast, what's just over the road? In Israel, very, very modern state, it has everything that you have here. But it is a huge, huge contrast. You're talking about uh, one place, Gaza, which is seriously backward and underdeveloped and poor, and a country, Israel, which is very, very well off. Is there any sign of this ending? Not really. Uh, and the Americans have said that they've got a new peace plan, but it doesn't look like the anger, the frustration that people feel there is going to fade away. BBC Newsbeat Newsbeat When we talk about Facebook, the numbers are always pretty mind-boggling. Two billion people have profiles. So keeping track of everything that's being uploaded is a huge, almost impossible task. And now for the first time, Facebook has given us a glimpse of the problem. Newsbeat's shown him accounts here. This is about taking down offensive content before any of us even see it. So things like violence, sex, spam, hate speech and fake accounts. Firstly, violent content's up dramatically by 200% in the first three months of this year. Facebook removed or slapped a warning label in front of 3.4 million bits of content. Which sounds like a big number. Yeah, but even Facebook doesn't know if that's a lot or a tiny fraction of what's out there. It admits it doesn't know the scale of the problem. It also blocks or took down 1.9 million pieces of terrorist propaganda, 2.5 million pieces of hate speech and 21 million pieces of sexual content. But uh, this obviously isn't all done by real people, is it? No, it's not. There are 17,000 human moderators, but a huge amount of this work is done by computer software. What Facebook says is that the artificial intelligence is good at spotting violence, but nothing like as reliable when it comes to hate speech. Of course, that's because it's much harder to define. But the problem um, the platform has faced is so much criticism for not doing enough to protect people and saying it's a tough job isn't good enough for Dottie. She's a gay Jewish woman. I'm running out of sympathy for that this is really hard because it's really not new and they find time to release dating apps and they find time to attach to my bank account but they don't find time to figure out who their users are. Please wait.